It's the nature of the game. It's the nature of the industry that you have to be innovative. You have to be different. Mm -hmm. You're never 100% fulfilled or content with your collection. So you just always want to strive to do better. The part of the beauty industry, I think everybody's somehow, you know, they, they're drawn to it. And I think just being a part of it or trying to be a part of it. It always just seems like such a different world. I mean, it's, it's, it's about fantasy. It's about ideals. It's about perfection. Even if it's, it, even if it's a messed up idea of perfection, it's just about creating exactly. something that's singular and identifiable. We're really fortunate in that we're, we know a lot of women that inspire us. They look great, they, they give us ideas on how we would like to see them. So when we're designing, we always have them in mind. We do work with you know, a really great team, a creative team. Sometimes it's just seeing things through their eyes. You know, they'll do something that is maybe something that we would have overlooked or just never even thought of. And it's always just good to have a different set of eyes or a different outlook or a different take on things just to inspire you even further. From one day to the next, the collection changes. Mm -hmm. um, it changes even the day before the fashion show, before we put it on the runway. What we're putting out there now is fall. And yeah, it, it's been such a crunch because you know, we still have fabric arriving. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what we're doing is we're, we're creating an idea and a feel for this collection. It's like we're creating our own world. We just want people to see the clothes and think, oh, I want, I want, I want to wear that. To be a designer, involves a lot more than just being able to think up a pretty outfits or whatever. You know, you have to be able to, to bring that to reality. Do it in a way that other people can understand it equally as well. A show is exactly doing that. You know, you're taking an idea and you're bringing it forth and presenting it to people so that they can see it the same way that you imagined it in your head. And I think when you do that, you're, you're successful. On site for me is, especially watching the creation of everything being done from the hair, the makeup, the seat, the gift bags being put together. It's always so exciting. And the team that we work with, apart from our personal team, we work with the AV people, with music, the DJs, models. It's such a great feeling working with the team and watching them, you know, excel at what they do best and the final you know, piece will be what we're all looking for. We're building a set. We're we're putting on a whole production. All of that has to be done within one day. It's a huge, huge, huge thing to achieve. You know, we have mm -hmm. big shows, so there's like, you know. Sometimes we have uh, no rehearsals, so it's. Exactly. And there's like playing it by six, ear. 800 people exactly. that you have to seat and make sure that they're all happy and content. And, and another 100 backstage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's a big, huge undertaking. Mm -hmm. It's just a, a, it's a flurry of activity. At this point, nobody's had any sleep, so we're just working on adrenaline, coffee, sugar, candies, that kind of stuff. I love that part of it. It's, it's exciting. It seems like that's fashion. <laughs> Not just with this collection, but with every collection. Yeah, it's... We just want people to see the clothes and think, oh, I want, I want, I want to wear that. I want, that's what I want to wear, or I can mm. see myself wearing that to this event, or... If, if they can do that, or if they do do that, then our job's done. Exactly.
then you can put on a beautiful collection, a beautiful like setting and whatnot, and you know it's embedded in people's heads. But when it boils down to it, it's the sales part of it. And you know we can go on and say we do the best shows in the city, and everyone comes to our shows and whatnot. But at the end of the day, the, the sales are what really counts, and it's so nice and rewarding when you actually see somebody wearing your clothes on the street. But. I'm not gonna, you know, knock the show or the, the whole production of creating the collection because it is, it's a huge, it's a huge effort and it's a group effort. Mm -hmm. And it is something to recognize that you had an idea, you put a collection together and you created this world. You're only as good as your last collection. I mean, you have to, you have to push yourself. It's all about newness. And you learn from your mistakes too. You know, not every show is perfection. Like people see the edited version, we get to see the raw version. And so we better ourselves for the next collection, you know, the seating, the floor plans, everything. It's just, I think you just learn from the last. And are you ever happy with like, no, absolutely exactly, not. <laughs> you're never happy. People ask me how I'm doing, you know, how my day is. And I always give them this reply, you know, well, I'm working like a dog, but loving it. You know, it's so much work and long hours, but it's what I always wanted to do. And I think Kirk mm -hmm. is the same way. You know, it's what we always wanted to do. And I think it's the best thing we've ever done. <laughs>